Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. For this week, we'll be working on getting some minis ready for the new Space Station Zero game by Snarling Badger Studios. I had the idea of basing my color palette on action figures from the 80s and 90s. As you can see, these colors are very saturated. It's super fun in my opinion. So for this guy, I liked this teal and green scheme. So I worked these two colors, some drops of gloss varnish, a couple of drops of water, So again, I work in thin layers, allowing each coat to fully dry before I give it another layer. I like to jump around the model and block in colors as others are drying. I also use a small blow dryer to help speed up the process. I know this could be a bit tedious or, you know, maybe even boring to work in such thin layers, but I feel like the results are worth it since the color is much more saturated. And feel free to use some of the newer, more saturated contrast paints. I feel as though those cover much more and are pretty heavily pigmented. I haven't tried them out myself, but I hope to soon. I took a similar approach with this bright orange. The only difference was this time around I used pigment and it's a really nicely saturated pigment from the hairline, but you could use any pigment you'd like. They boost the saturation substantially and the magic mix medium really helps them bind well. Now again, I move around the armor pieces in thin layers. I use muted browns, blacks, and greens for parts of the miniatures as well, like the gun holsters or anything that I don't want the focal point to be in. They kind of recede um, so that the more saturated colors come out.
For this crazy mech looking guy, I wanted to play around with maybe a lime green and yellow um, for the armor with some purples and magentas as a contrast to that. I'm using inks and heavy body acrylic paints to create my own tones here. So please feel free to use whatever you may have on hand. I'm also reusing mixes uh, I make for other minis as secondary tones or even the main tone, like this mini in a more purple magenta armor. After I feel like the figures have been properly saturated, I move on to giving them all just a bit more pop with some quick edge highlighting. I don't spend too much time here, I just want to bring out those edges a bit more. And all the work really would have been done by our Zenithal Highlight.
I use a bit of solid lines here and there to represent some old markings on the floors of the space station, if you will. I do it more to add a bit of interest so they're not all the same. I then dry brush these two colors onto all of the bases to start to tie them in more together. I use very transparent contrast paints to bring some more saturation into them. As the dry brush gray and blue uh, would be too stark and not as interesting. And there we are, 12 space explorers ready to dive deep into the space station. Thank you all very much again for joining me on another episode of Al's Tabletop. Please share in the comments your plans and what you'll be doing with your crews. I'd love to hear. Please take care of yourselves and others. Bye for now.